Carla Dove and I work in the Feather Lab at the National Museum of Natural History at the Smithsonian Institution. The work that we do in the Feather Identification Lab uh, really seeks to identify birds from fragments or small pieces of feathers and most of those are recovered from bird strikes and a bird strike occurs when a bird and an airplane collide. We conduct our research with really with three tools. We have these wonderful collections at the Museum of Natural History and our collection happens to focus on birds so we have over 650,000 bird specimens. We also use DNA and we use the microscope to look at the tiny details of the feathers to help us identify birds. The bottom line of our research really is to identify the species of birds, give that information to the airfield managers and to the FAA and to the military, and then they try to figure out plans to prevent bird strikes. The kinds of remains that we receive for identification really ranges all the way from a whole wing or a whole piece of a bird, like a foot or a beak, uh, all the way down to the smallest tiny little bits of feathers or what we call snarge, which is the term that we use to identify the ick, the bird ick that kind of gets wiped off of the airplane or scraped out of the engine and submitted for identification. So it really is a, a wide range of evidence. Some of the common bird species that are involved in bird strikes include the kinds of birds that like to hang out on flat airfields, like horned larks. Uh, we get a lot of mourning doves because they like to eat the millet that's sometimes planted in the grass on the airfield. We get a lot of herring gulls and ring billed gulls because they like to hang out on flat surfaces. All birds can cause damage, but by and large, the most damaging birds are huge birds like Canada geese, just like the one that brought the plane down into the Hudson River. We were involved in the U.S. Airways Flight 1549 crash that went into the Hudson River because of uh, encounters with Canada geese. Uh, and our role in that um, investigation was to identify the species of birds and make sure that it really was Canada geese that was involved in that bird strike. I got interested in science when I was a little kid. Um, I grew up in the country and I used to go hiking and camping and, and walking in the woods and fishing with my dad and my brother. And so that's how I got into to natural history. And then I had some very good mentors along the way. I had great teachers, instructors. Uh, who really guided me and, and got me turned on to birds, and that's how I got into ornithology. Well, I think the average person needs to care about the research that we do here at the Smithsonian in the Feather Lab because it really does go to help improve aviation safety. Most of us fly, most of us want to have a safe trip, take off and landing, and avoiding bird strikes is a big part of that. So knowing what the species are, identifying the species, giving that information to the airfields really improves aviation safety.